On behalf of Carolina Breast Friends, we welcome you to this session tonight. You're in for a treat. I hope you will learn lots of tips tonight, but I also hope you'll engage and ask lots of questions. So thank you, Deborah, for being with us tonight. I'm going to turn it over to William, and he is going to introduce our guest celebrity. William. There I am. Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. It's so nice to see you guys. I really miss uh, the Pink House. I miss these uh, monthly projects. Um, thank you guys for being here. I have, we have a very special treat. Uh, Deborah is a friend of mine from New York that I've known a long time ago. I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even want to a lifetime ago and um i had been watching her videos while in quarantine and she she's been doing these amazing videos so i've become a fan of hers over the last few months here and um so i reached out to her on instagram and this is what i love about it she she said yes before she realized who i was like anyway without further ado you this is the one you want to spend your time with uh deborah do you want to introduce yourself so um Thank you for having me here at the Pink House. I'm excited to be here. Uh, my mom is also um, a cancer survivor. So I'm excited to talk to you lovely women and let you know that um, everyone is beautiful. So beauty comes from inside as well, inside out. And there's um, many ways that we can take care of ourselves through um, our food that we eat and our products on our skin that will make us look and feel better about ourselves. And it's quite empowering to um, be able to help women reach beauty in any way they can. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you also a little bit about myself. Um, I pulled some beautiful editorials that I did uh, not too long ago in Paris just to give you an idea of the type of work that I do. So this was shot in, um, in Paris. Um, it was, here we go, here is the Eiffel Tower. And this, um, this magazine um, is Vogue Japan. So here we go. Some beautiful images of the type of work I do. And this was shot last year in 2019. That is one um, reference I'd like to give you. I also had the opportunity, uh, I was going through during quarantine, I was going through a lot of um, images in my um, archive. And I also ran into one of these. This is Joss Stone that I worked on years ago, um, a beautiful musician. Uh, I also ran into some beautiful uh, editorial work that um, I have found. So, you know, models, yeah, they could be beautiful. They're beautiful. They're uh, definitely gorgeous to work with, but you too can also be beautiful. You don't have to be, you know, be a celebrity or a model to be beautiful. One more that I'm going to show you. This was uh, Spirit and Flesh magazine. And this is one of my favorite stories with a photographer called Karush. The other photographer was a, a Lara Jade, a friend of mine. And these are um, from another photographer. His name is Karush. And this was a beautiful garden story that we did. And one more. Okay, so yes, I have been doing makeup for almost 30 years. Uh, I dedicated my life uh, to beauty, to make women look and feel beautiful. And I love what I do. Every day when I go to work, uh, I bring all of my products. I'm very well educated on what I work with. I also still work with and assist some of the best makeup artists in the world for Fashion Week uh, in New York, in Europe. Um, I worked on the Victoria's Secret show. I worked on the Chanel show. So I am totally in it. <laughs> I love everything about makeup. Uh, I live, breathe, everything. I love makeup. So I love to make women look and feel beautiful. I love to paint. I was a, um, as a child, I was a, a child artist. So I have it in my blood. 
So today I have an array of products that I'd like to, uh, to share with you from my makeup kit. Uh, I feel that it's uh, super important. Um, there is a movement of organic products, which I believe in. And uh, these products are um, non-toxic and they, um, they don't have any harsh, harsh ingredients, harmful ingredients. So you, and also they're um, not tested on animals, so it's animal cruelty as well. Uh, so you could feel good about using some of these products. So on a day-to-day -day basis, if uh, I were doing my own makeup, what I would start with um, is a really good skincare um, regime, a routine every morning. I like to massage my skin with some oils and creams. Uh, I frequently uh, look at this page that I like, um, this Instagram page, it's called Face Gym. So we also have a location here, but it's closed now, so they've been doing a lot of online um, videos. Uh, and it's all about massaging the skin and really getting the product into the skin and removing all of the toxins and really uh, working the muscles so they firm the skin. What you would do is start with your products. Uh, I happen to have a, a beautiful product here. Um, I'm going to use maybe Bittner's Daughter. This is a nice organic product. This is one of, and we will have a list of the products as well that I carry in my kit for you, just in case you would like to uh, go back and reference them. So one is also Pink Elephant is another good product. Um, <clears throat> see, uh, a Cure skincare is very good. I love this product. So I would take a little bit in my hands, warm the oil or the cream up, and also get it through my knuckles. And in the morning, what I like to do is I like to start with a face massage, massaging into the skin all of the products under the eyes. Uh, I think I saw that question, <laughs> Jackie. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, when I finish here, I'm going to have a list of products and I do have a site that I collaborate with. And if you're interested, you will see everything that's in my makeup kit will be on the website. Uh, so I would start with a little massaging. If um, you feel you want to go a little stronger with a microcurrent. There are also um, products you can purchase online. They're battery operated and these products also do a wonderful job of lifting and it's a nice massage for the skin. You can go under the eyes. It will help with lymphatic drainage. You go down the neck and it's it has a little stimulation and microcurrent to feel like the muscles are being exercised. And it's just like you're, you know, anything that you exercise, if you're doing weights, it's going to firm up the skin and also help with the circulation. So I would start in the morning with this. It helps to alleviate any of also of the, it smooths some of the lines and it also helps to go inside. If you have, you know, forehead, I have uh, my worry lines. I get in here and I really massage in there and it smooths out any lines that I have. So I start with a little massage. I go with a little microcurrent. If I feel that um, I have a little puffiness around the eyes, uh, I might go into my freezer. These are little Sephora iPads. They're nice and cold from the refrigerator, so I would place them on my eyes. If you don't have these, you can use um, chamomile tea bags. You boil the tea with the chamomile, and then you would put um, in the refrigerator, you would take the chamomile tea bags with a little bit of water, put them in the refrigerator, and that makes a nice um, uh, concoction to put on your eyes. You would take some cotton balls and put it inside the cup. And then in the morning, you can take out the little cotton balls and put them on your eyes. And it will help to take down any puffiness if you have anything from allergies as well. 
uh, it will help you with um, anything around the eyes that might, you, if you look in the mirror and you think, oh, my eyes are puffy today or whatever you're experiencing, it will help um, smooth out anything underneath the eyes. So uh, I touched on a little bit of skincare. There's also one of my favorite products called Bioderma. This is a wonderful product. Uh, it's very um, gentle. So during fashion week, when all the models are running from show to show, uh, if you have this product in your kit, they usually look for the artists who have this product and they love it because it's very gentle to the skin. Once again, I will have everything written down to send you. Uh, so this is, um, it could be a little cleanser. It could also be used as a toner. It does wonders for the skin as well. I love this product. Uh, we also have um, some sheet masks. Uh, once again, from this company, A Cure. I believe they have this product in Whole Foods. I've seen it as well. Uh, this is great if you're feeling like your skin is uh, dry or it's not, it's losing a little glow or it just looks lackluster. You put this on and uh, you can sleep with it as well. I have slept with the masks and then it just rejuvenates your skin. It makes you feel better. And it also makes your skin look a lot better. Um, it helps any dryness, any wrinkles. This is a great product as well. A gel cleanser from Peach and Lily. This is a new line. Um, and this is a nice product for deep cleansing. I don't know if you're wearing that much makeup right now, but uh, it's a nice cleanser. It soothes the skin. Uh, and she also has a nice regime uh, uh, makeup routine with cleansers and moisturizers. Um, and I would recommend this product as well if you're looking for a nice gentle cleanser. What else can we talk about? Let's see. Um, oh, another product that I love uh, if you are doing any kind of treatment, uh, sometimes the eyebrows tend to fall out and the eyelashes. This, this, this product is called uh, Eyebrow Growth Serum. It's called Nourish Brow. I have it to use this every day because I love full brows. So I put it on every morning before I do my eyebrows and it helps the hair grow. And also um, I have products that I use on my eyelashes uh, to keep the uh when i put the mascara on i like to have nice and full lashes and it will help with any kind of um, sparse lashes or any kind of lash fallout this helps to strengthen the lash make it longer and make it fuller <laughs> you're going to need the brow okay <laughs> That's good. this is a great product uh you have to religiously use it religiously though you really have to use it every day in order to see any type of results uh, there's also um, castor oil. This works well uh, if you have any, if you would like to do more shopping in an organic store, they have the castor oil that you can put um, on your eyebrows and that also does a wonderful job. What else do we have here? Uh, okay, so I touched on the eyebrows. Um, you could do the uh, eyebrows and on the lash. Uh, and, and maybe we should go into... A little bit of, uh, I don't know if you wear any type of foundation or concealer. Sometimes uh, women like to put a little something when they uh, go out the door to keep the skin looking uh, nice and fresh. Uh, I, there is one product here by a line called Elia. It's an organic brand. Hmm. And this is a good product. It leaves the skin very, it's a very light consistency. So it's not a heavy coverage. So it still leaves the skin glowing. I really believe that, you know, when you are going through these treatments that your skin may be looking a little dry or maybe it's losing color or it may be a little ashy, whatever your situation is, the movement of the makeup uh, in this current time is beautiful, glowy skin. 
So whether you're achieving that glow through a little bit of bronzing serum, or if there is a shine in the foundation, I would highly recommend using these type of products. It gives the skin a glow and a shine and a healthy look instead of looking more of a, a drier, paler look because that really is not the fashion right now. It was in the 80s, <laughs> but not now. So uh, like I said, what I do is I mix a little bit of the tanning serum. This happens to be Becca. And this is a luminous uh, perfecting foundation. So I put a few drops of this into my foundation or my moisturizer while I'm, this would be the last step uh, before I would do a primer. So I would do the massage, I would do the moisturizer, and I would put a little bit of this product, which gives me a nice bronzy glow inside of the moisturizer and then I would blend it in so uh, it it gives a nice glow it makes me feel alive and it makes me feel like I went tanning or I came back from vacation and it also makes my teeth look whiter any type of bronzing serum so I would highly recommend any bronzers any highlighters into the moisturizer to give a nice beautiful glow you put it down the neck and uh, it also looks good in photos as well and camera uh, concealer that is another one of my uh, go-to products uh, oh I forgot about this one this is a, a fantastic line it's called RMS Beauty and she has beautiful beautiful um, foundations and beautiful uh, colors and they're all made from a coconut base this is a hundred percent organic uh, this uh, is a makeup artist she used to be in the business and now she's doing more of branding for her line uh, I have used all of the products they are fantastic they're very emollient uh, it goes on very smooth under the eye, the concealers, the foundations. It's a beautiful glow as well. It doesn't look dry or cakey. It doesn't get into the lines. And I really like working with this product. She has lipsticks and she came out with a new array of line of colors for African American skin, which are beautiful colors. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that she has a, a, a large selection of colors and uh, lipsticks, bl cream blushes. I love the cream blushes because the powder blushes can tend to get a little dry. So these are beautiful. You can put them on with your fingers. You, they're uh, also the eyeshadows you could put on with your fingers. You could do the whole face pretty much with just your fingers. That, this is RMS. RMS and the makeup artist is Rosemary Swift. And she has, like I said, a lot of uh, beautiful colors. And it wears very well on the skin. And it keeps the skin nice and dewy as well. These are some of my favorite products here, the RMS. Um, I want to go back to, uh, I want to touch a little bit more back um, to the uh, eyebrows. Because we told you about the eyebrows that uh, we have the serum. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the application of the brow because when you don't have a lot of brow there, I feel some women, it's difficult for them to draw the brow on. So I wanted to touch a little bit on how to do an asymmetrical or uh, even out the brows for the face to make it look even from one to the other. Uh, I think that's really important. After you you know, put your serum on and your brows start growing in, there is a gauge of where to pencil everything in. I'm going to tap on myself to see myself a little bit better here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, um, now the eyebrows are really important because they frame the face. So what you want to do is you want to gauge uh, here. Okay, so... This is my 
level, basically. So I want the same amount of space from my eyebrow to this, and on this side as well, from my eyebrow to the, the what, you could use whatever you want, the pencil, whatever it, it is, just as long as it goes across so you could see the distance of where you need to pencil in. And also, you would not go beyond this. You do the nose to the end under the brow and up. So you would not go past this line when you're doing your brows. You go here. There you go. And you also, when you're doing the brows, you want to first brush the brow down. You want to draw in your lines and then you want to brush the brows back up. And there's a lot of um, also gels that would also make the eyebrows look a little thicker as well. You could take a look at those too. And after you've drawn in the brow, you put your thickener in and that will thicken up the brows a bit for you. Okay, all done. Okay, are we back? Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, after we did the brows, we've done a little bit of the foundation with a little bit of um, sheen or a, a luminizer. You could also use a luminizer uh, powder as well. I like this one from, I believe it's uh, Milani and it works really good and it's very inexpensive. So after we bronzed, we've done a little highlight. We would go on to maybe a little bit of uh, shadow or mascara. Maybe mascara. I'm not sure if everyone's wearing shadow, so we'll keep it easy. Uh, as far as uh, the mascaras, I do like this product called Blink because it does not come off of the, uh, the eyes. It's a great mascara. It is for people who have very sensitive eyes and it's a great, it, it almost beads off. So it's not your typical mascara. I love this. And then uh, we would do a little bit of blush where we did uh, either the, a powder blush, but I particularly like the RMS. I'm going to go back into here. The color of the lipsticks are beautiful. And we tap a little bit on here. We tap a little bit of color on the cheek as well. And there you have it. It's not something that needs to take a lot of time, but it's something that when you look in the mirror, you feel like you have a little bit of color on, it brightens up the face, it makes you feel good. And, uh, you know, it could be a, a quick routine every morning that you do. Uh, also, we have, I pulled for you uh, this sunscreen, which is important. This one is by Kate Somerville. So you would spray, it's a very um, fine spray. Uh, it's SPF 50, which is important for, um, you don't want to go out in the sun and get uh, ultraviolet damage. You spray a little bit of this. This is always good. And uh, that's pretty much what I have set for you. Also, this uh, Dr. Hoshka is another really good bronzing tint to get a nice a, a little color in the skin and it will not make, uh, it will not be such, it blends into the skin beautifully that it will not be such a differentiation between the neck and the face. If you're afraid to use a little bit of bronzer, this is nice, like I said, you mix it inside the moisturizer and you blend it on down the neck and it will give you a beautiful glow. Um, I have my professional makeup kit back here. I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in here, who is one of my mentors. Uh, she has beautiful um, foundations and beautiful powders and beautiful lipsticks as well. 
I am not 100% on her ingredients, though. You'd have to check the ingredients to make sure that um, you are able to, um, that it's under your guidelines to be safe to use. Uh, another um, makeup artist that I love is Pat McGrath. She has very uh, pigmented uh, colors in the makeup. So um, not sure she's 100% organic, though. Um, and let's see. What else do we have here? But I would definitely have to stay with the RMS in terms of completely organic, uh, beautiful colors uh, made from coconut um, oils. And this is my number one product for anything organic and 100% uh, safe for the skin. What else can we talk about? Uh, Deborah, do you mind if I step in for one second? Absolutely. <laughs> step let's, in. Catch up, let's catch up on some of these questions because we got sure. quite a few. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning here. Okay, so uh, I had the same question actually. Was uh, You talked about skin gym, like, like going to the gym to work out? No, it's called face gym. So we face, have um, face, a gym. face gym. You can actually go to the location where they do massages and they do all of these things serums and all of these potions and they spray oxygen on your face and it really they really massage the skin very um it is you know it's 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 a massage you feel where all of the muscles are being moved and in the next day your skin is plump it's beautiful i haven't mm. been there in a while but it's one of my go-to places if i have a special event and i want to be nice and plump uh, it's That's safe awesome. gym and it's it's also that they have currently because the stores are closed they have online they have live um free uh, classes on how to massage the proper massage for the face that um there's tapping there's massages for around the eyes for the eyebrows for the for the lines the forehead lines That's and it's awesome. uh it's beautiful. There's all different techniques. That's a whole hour in itself. <laughs> no, it's but awesome. it's definitely something that you want to take a look at because they come on and do the live sessions and you can um, be at home with your massage oils and be really stimulating the collagen and stimulating the muscles for the face. And it will add a little color to the skin. It will create circulation, blood flow. And it's super healthy for your skin. It also goes down into the the, uh, um, the adrenal, the lymph nodes, and the adrenal. And uh, I would highly recommend it. Okay, that's awesome. Yes, there's a website for Face Gym as well. I'll look and that it's up. That's, yeah, that's and I'm awesome. sure they so, have a lot of their videos on uh, their website as well. So Jackie also wanted to know. So she asked about the product list. Jackie, we're going to get that to you uh, as in the follow-up email. I think we already said that, but um. Uh, so, but she also asked, do you, do you recommend or what do you think of quartz rollers for face massage? Quartz rollers are good. Also jade rollers. Yes, jade rollers. absolutely. They have some technique on there. Um, it is a, it's a jade roller and it's a special technique that, uh, it's a whole system that they use for, um, the, the roller and massaging the points of the face and it's I do not remember the name of it um, but it's on there it's a green it looks like a jade roller and mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's very effective for plumping the skin and um, you know moving to create better circulation and just okay. a nice nice routine you could do Awesome. And Jackie, uh, so I think she already answered that question. It looks like you saw that with the uh, primer or foundation question. Uh, um, what which one? The primer? Which primer was it? Well, no, before you talked about your primer, um, Jackie had asked uh, any primer recommended or foundation better. And uh, But then you had said this is your last step before the primer, and she acknowledged that. So Yes, it's the last step yeah. before the primer goes on, and then the foundation goes on. Because... Be because the illuminator is added to the moisturizer. And then uh, okay. once that's rubbed in, then you put you could use your primer. If you have, um, if you're someone that the makeup doesn't stay on, I would use a primer. Otherwise, I'd, I don't use a primer. 
But if I were okay. doing makeup and for a celebrity or someone that needs the whole night, I would definitely use a primer. And I would okay. also use a setting spray after that. Okay. Just to make sure that it stays on. Now, uh, Gwell, am I saying that right, Gwell? Uh, Bethel Williams? Um, you asked what product was that? Can you remind me where she was at at that time? Um, I, I didn't, I wrote that question down, but I, I didn't make a note on it. So um, if, if you can ask that more specifically, that would be great. And also, so Jackie, eyelash, eyelash primer recommended? Any eyelash primer you recommend? An eyelash primer. <clears throat> um, I believe uh, Mark Jacobs has a good one. It's also um, an eyebrow and an eyelash primer. And then you would do the eyelash primer and then the uh, mascara over it. Yes. Okay. So Mark Jacobs has a really nice one. All right. And now uh, Jada asked, uh, did you massage in an oil or an oil cleanser? No, I would not massage it. Uh, I mean, I could, I could massage, but that would be when I was taking my makeup off, I would do a, a, a massage cleanser. You could okay. massage the face while removing the makeup, yes. Okay. Um, this is a good one here. Let's see, we got Tammy, oops. What are the recommendations uh, while in chemo to make the eyes not look sunken in? I would have to say uh, you would moisturize very much and then go into underneath the eyes, you would do a nice um, concealer. This concealer would be great because it's, uh, it's coconut based, it's very emollient, it doesn't get into the lines and it gives a nice coverage. I would do this product for you and I would also go in not only my with my fingers, but if you'd like an, a little extra coverage, I would go in with a brush under the eyes. So the sunken in would be under the eyes, mm -hmm. I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Tammy, yeah. is that correct? Yeah, okay. And the problem is underneath the eyes. So I would go in here and I would tap on under the eyes with this product, and this will open the eyes. It, would, it bounces light, and it doesn't look like the eyes are as sunken in. Awesome. And, and she has a, a, lot, a lot of nice uh, color range for, for the RMS. Okay. So now, and Jackie wants to know, what about uh, moisturizer with sunscreen? Uh, yes. do you still Do you still need a sunscreen? Or if the moisturizer has sunscreen, is that enough? If the moisturizer has sunscreen, that is plenty. Okay, good. Yes, yes. And so uh, Pamela is asking, what are the names of the blush and sunscreen? Pamela, that's all going to be in the follow-up email. So uh, I'm sure that'll be clear. Yes. Is there a website for Face Gym? Yes, there is. Yeah. Um, my lips have disappeared. Uh, what technique does she use to make them reappear? <laughs> that's a good okay. one, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also massages for lip above the lip as well. But there's also some products that you could use um, I believe one of them is called Buxom. You'd have to check on the ingredients, but it's almost like a bee sting feeling and they make the lips uh, look bigger. It almost swells the lips a bit. And there's, I have seen devices, I have not used them, but I have seen them where they put them on the lip and it, um, the, it's like a massage technique. I'm not sure, it's suction and it makes the lips look fuller. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, Betty's got a couple of good questions here. One, I don't, I don't know what this is actually. Uh, what brand microcurrent tool do you recommend? Oh, Oops. yes. This was that something is. that was very inexpensive. And I, I, I believe I got it on Amazon. And uh, it's the Energy Beauty Bar. It comes with two pieces. There's also another one on the site that I'm going to send you that is very good, it's a different one, but this one at the moment, it had, um, it had two different, one for the face, this one, the microcurrent, the one that I was using, and then there was another one that I actually also use on the face. Um, this you can use on the body or the face, which has these little round, and this is good too, everything lifts. To be gentle around the eyes, but this is really good and it feels good and it gets right into your tension spots. You know, these 
right here, you bring everything up into the tension spot. You can use this on the forehead as well, the neck. This one is a bit more for the body, but I still like it on the face. I don't mind this one. Uh, and it's called Energy Beauty Bar, and I will send you the link because I purchased these on Amazon. Okay, good. And uh, her, Betty's uh, next question is, uh, how to keep the lipstick from feathering? How to keep the lipstick from feathering? I would uh, do a little powder to start. I would do uh, a lipstick base, a little powder, and then I would line the lips, and then I would go in again with a little powder, and then the lipstick. So I I would powder, do a thin thin film of uh, dusting of powder, do the lip, line it, and do another dusting of powder to prevent it from going into the lines. Okay. Now. Um Jackie's asking, uh, will the email tell us where to buy these things, i.e. Amazon or Ulta? Um, and I'm sure you were going to do that anyway, like you're already saying, you'll send the links or whatever. Yes. And yes. also, the only thing I would add to that, it looks like our last question for now, but I'll keep, I'll keep looking. Um, but uh, one thing I would like to add is anything you can get from Sephora, um, because I'm friends with the young ladies that have opened up the Sephoras in Charlotte there. Yes. Um, I, would, I, I, I know I can get us a discount. Uh, for the pink house as well. So anything you can get from Sephora, you know, I'll see if I can get a discount for everybody on that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There's a, a lot of products that are in Sephora currently that I good. touched on. All right. So uh, keep going. That's all our questions for the moment. I'll let you know when we get more. Okay, great. So um, I did want to touch a little bit on um, also products around the house that can be nice if you were um, trying to do a mask or you know if you feel like you don't want to go to Sephora and you just want to look into your refrigerator there's a lot of great products uh, you can find in there for example the cucumbers were good someone had mentioned about the sunken eyes uh, I think that cucumbers are great for that also the green uh, tea bags as well and the um, the chamomile bags. Also, cherries are fantastic if you have any kind of rosacea, if you're developing any kind of redness, you mash up the cherries. Uh, you could put the cherries on your skin and it helps with any kind of rosacea and redness. Uh, there's also honey is a good um, product as well. If you have a little dry skin, you put the honey on, it makes a great mask and then you just uh, wash it off and your skin will be nice and glowy. Uh, avocados are also a great product um, to have for any type of dry skin and any kind of, uh, it will illuminate the skin and it will take off uh, a lot of the dead skin cells as well. And then we have um, bananas are also good. They're high in potassium. <laughs> you could also eat them, right? Uh, what I wanted to say was not only at do I do all of these products on my skin as well, but there are also, uh, I do take, I take every morning, um, I take a green shake and in the shake, or sometimes I do blueberries or uh, I do these particular shakes, they're collagen shakes and they do uh, help rebuild the collagen in the skin. Uh, I would also put a little bit of hyaluronic acid in my shake, which is um, nice to uh, moisturize the skin and lubricate not only the skin, the joints. I take my fish oils. Uh, I take a lot of good products that not only are uh, hydrating on the inside, but uh, also on the outside. And, um, you know, I'm very loyal to putting on my face makeup, my, my face moisturizer every day, my oils. I literally don't step out of the house without it. So it's something that you really have to be committed on if you want it to work. Uh, you know, after time, you know, and after, depending on what you're using, if you're using a hyaluronic acid or something on your skin, after time, it does make a difference. And you could see uh, that the skin is being protected um, as also for the sunscreen as well. 
Uh, someone says, what's the before bed routine that I saw came up? <laughs> we actually got a couple questions in here. Um, let's see, the first one, oops. Any recommend, re, uh, excuse me, any recommendations for eye wrinkles? Anything specifically for eye wrinkles? Eye wrinkles, yeah, I, let, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using, I have been using myself um, a, a, a compounded cream that I get um, that has, uh, the hyaluronic acid is very good. There is one product which is Retin-A, but it's very strong. That's another product that you can use. Um, it's a commitment to the to the retin A because it does make your skin look. Um, it goes through a period of dryness. I would also recommend. I don't. I I love to get laser. I recommend Laser Genesis is one of the lasers that I use for that area as well. I'm big mm. on laser. I don't do any Botox, but any kind of lasering will help um, smooth the lines. Uh, if you want to go an organic way. Um, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can try the hyaluronic products with hyaluronic acid that are highly effective for that, uh, the wrinkles around the eyes and anything that has collagen as well. Okay. And yes, what you said, uh, what is, oops, hold on. What is, uh, the before bed routine to take it off? Just simply cleanser or more? Well, it all depends if, um, if you are someone that wears a lot of mascara, like myself, I love mascara. Uh, I tend to need something that's a little bit more uh, lathery to take off the eye makeup. Um, so I would tend to use a cleanser. The one I use is from Orbe that really takes off all the eye makeup in one shot. And you're gonna, uh, uh, William, can I can I hear that question again, please? Yeah, sure. Just one second. I it's, got uh, off the sidetracked. <laughs> that's okay. What, it says, "What f face oils do you recommend?" Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the be before bed before bed routine to uh, to take it off? Just simply cleanser or more? Uh, I would do a cleanser. Yeah, I would do the cleanser. Whether you use a cream or um, a cream cleanser or a foam cleanser. I would remove it and then maybe I would, um, in the evening, I would, at one, uh, before I go to bed, I might pop one of these on. These are great, the Acura uh, sheet masks. These are organic. Before I go to sleep, I'll put a sheet mask on and in the morning I wake up and my skin feels so beautiful. And uh, two questions, two more questions. Um, any face oils you specifically recommend? Yes. Can you, can put, can you put those in the email as well? Yes, I do love the uh, Acure. Face oils are excellent. I will put that in definitely in the email. Pink Elephant has some really good um, oils. Also, BYBI uh, -E is really good. Uh, okay. And also, this is a nice product too. Go to face serum. Go to skincare has a really great face serum. I think everybody should own a face serum. <laughs> Everybody Perfect. needs a face serum because these are, these are the, the wave of the, of the future. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And what, uh, did you say that blink does not transfer under the eye or flake? Is, did no, you say that? No, it's, it's a really good one. Yeah. And that That's you can great. definitely get at Sephora. Okay. That's excellent and, for, for contact lens wearers and someone who the, the a mascara always runs. It's an excellent product. And what about eye bags? Eye bags, okay. Well, I mentioned that there's these cute little, uh, these you put in the refrigerator. You put them on your eyes. And these are great because they're nice and cool and they will constrict, um, you know, any kind of inflammation or it will take down any kind of inflammation if you have. Anything cold around the eyes will take it down the swelling. Uh, and any type of tea bag, chamomile tea bag, if you boil the tea bag and you put it uh, in the refrigerator. So you would boil the tea bag and then you would put the tea and you'd put the tea bag in the cup 
and then you would take um, here, you would take cotton pads and put the cotton pads inside the cup and put the cup in the refrigerator. So in the morning, you'll have the I uh, the cotton that's soaked with the infusion of the tea bag. So then you would take it would in the morning you would take this cold because it would be in the refrigerator and you would place it on the eyes and it will help all over the eye actually to do that too and it will help a lot with the puffiness and the backs. That's awesome. And uh, Jackie has a good question here. What uh, what does what step does the face serum go on? So is that before cream? Before like you know what? In what step does that go on? The face serum would go on first. I would yeah, do the face serum the very first. The face serum is uh, I would do that first, and then I would put the cream on top of the face serum. Oh, okay. and I wanted to tell you about these great um, these uh, great eye drops if your eyes are really red these are called collier blue and they're actually blue drops but they do wonders to take the red out of the eyes as well are those those crazy like they feel crazy like they're, they're no kinda... they don't feel crazy they're absolutely gentle they don't feel crazy at all they're very gentle but they take the redness out they they're fantastic i had mm. I think it was Polly G or somebody that does uh, that one of the DJs down. In, <laughs> so I was, I also do men's grooming and I used these on him and they, his PR person contacted me because, you know, celebrities and DJs, whatever you're doing, they're out all night. They're out all night. Hold on. I had a call. Okay. They're out all night. Their eyes are all red. They're all bloodshot. And this was the only thing that actually helped to take the redness out. So I had the, his manager reach me to find out what the name of these drops were. That's awesome. Not sure if they're organic, but they work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something that you want to do all the time, but it's if you have like a special event or something that you don't want your eyes to look red or bloodshot, that does the mm. job. Awesome. Now, Pamela has, uh, was actually uh, coming in with a recommendation too on the eye wrinkles and the bags. She said she uses, I use a natural difference product from A and D skincare called Lift and Firm Serum mm -hmm. under the eyes and I, uh, it's good for the eyes and the uh, bags, the wrinkles in the bags too. Yes. And, and oh, and Gwen wants to know about the, the eye drops. Can you use those if you, if you're, if you wear contacts? Uh, you can, I have used them on people that have had contacts, it will leave a bit, you have, these are very, they're very strong. So mm -hmm. you can't get them on um, your shirt or you can't uh, get the drops on anything. Uh, wow. And it, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty strong. They're made in Canada and uh, they will definitely take the red out of the eyes. You could use them with contacts. They might tint the contact a little bit but it will mm. go away. It will move out during the day. It will um, dissolve during the day. So, but I nothing like it, it, it won't. Like but they want to check the ingredients it. for that. It's very. It's right. a very strong eye drop. Okay, and um, what is a good mascara to use uh, to make lashes look longer when they are just coming back in? Like, so it was just starting to grow back in. Uh, someone recommended Thrive to. Kim was asking, someone recommended Thrive. Um, any thoughts on that? Uh, Thrive is a good, it's very uh, organic. Thrive is a good one, yes. Uh, I I like to have a little bit more thickness in my lash. Um, and it depends also when they're growing in, you might want to have the brush. You have to look for a thinner brush, not so mm. much thickness. So it will nicely move through the lash one by one through the hair one by one so i would just recommend something with a very thin wand opposed to a thick one because the thicker wand will deposit more product on the eyelash okay that makes sense so um any opinion about the rodan and fields products they're good they have a uh, yeah, they have a link yeah. lab. okay perfect yeah the rodan and fields uh works it's there's a lot of products out there, and she's talking about the for the mascara the, growth, correct? The la the lash lengthening, yes. Yeah, that one's a good one. I happen to like this product called the Lash as well. 
Uh, but the most organic uh, uh, of them all is the Nourish Brow. And I, that's no. the one I'm currently using. Uh, mm -hmm. I like it. And uh, there's also, um, I think it's like a boy, a boy, uh, not boy brow. There's, um, there's a lot of them on the market and I have tried about four of them so far. I do happen myself personally to love the, the Lilash, but I haven't, I've, I'm currently using the Nourish Brow and I'm, I haven't used it as long as the Lilash to really see how, um, how well it's doing, but it has, so far, it has thickened them a bit. Awesome. You know, with these, yeah. with these eyelash um, serums and eye growth serums, you start using them, but when you stop and switch to another one, it, you have to start from the beginning. It's almost like they fall out until this product starts working, which might be in a week or so. So there's in between where it goes back to being very uh, sparse and falling out. Okay. And uh, here's a question from Adrian. When you put bronzer in moisturizer, do you mix just what you are putting on at the time or do you add it to your available, like do you mix it all together? I think is that this question. Uh, I would put the, well, it depends on, I, I need a lot of moisturizer for my skin, so my skin's very dry. So I will put the, the drops on first, the oil first, and then I will go and mix the luminizer, the bronzer, into the moisturizer. Okay. And then I might put on a little bit of powder over it, a little powder bronzer as well. I don't okay. mind layering the products. Yeah. I think they I stay out longer when you layer them. Yeah, absolutely. And then, right, uh, oh, go on. No, go that's ahead. it for now. That's it. That's the last question for now. Mm -hmm. So there's so many products out there. You know, it's endless amount of products. Uh, it's almost like a prescription. You really have to use it to see if it's the right product for you. I mean, I have tested thousands of products on my skin. Some of them I like, and some of them are good, but I feel, okay, I think the other one did a better job. So it's a matter of really going out or experimenting on what works for you. It's, it's a, like a prescription. What works for me might not necessarily be the right product for you. So uh, there's, we are accessible to a lots of products and it's just a matter of reading the ingredients or seeing what exactly it is. Maybe it's, you know, nourishing the skin or hydrating or depending on what type of climate you're in. Uh, so, you know, and, and also, like I mentioned, there's a lot of home products that you can try as well. If you don't feel, you know, there's, uh, I, I love for myself, I, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, believer in very moist lips. I, I, I have a pet peeve on dry lips. So what I will do is I will take a little bit of honey, brown sugar, or you could do it honey and salt, whatever it might be. And it's a lip scrub. And they do also sell lip scrubs that you can purchase. And that would be um, a great thing, exfoliating all the dry skin from the lips before you actually do the, um, the lipstick and, and uh, the lip liner to keep the skin, look, the lips looking moist. Yeah, and uh, Jackie's got. I'm glad that I am able to give back, and it is a joy for me to be able to keep doing good in order to stomp out the bad in the world. So I'm going to keep doing good, and I'm going to keep educating on my craft, and I'm going to keep empowering women, and I'm going to keep making them feel and look beautiful, and I have a lot of energy to give out for that. So. I hope and I pray that you really enjoyed my session today.